Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about why taking massive action is not enough. You know, so many people say, uh, people who are successful, they say to other people, listen, you got to take massive action. And if you take massive action, you will be successful. You will achieve your goals by taking massive action. But I found out that taking massive action is not enough. You know, if you really want to get successful, if you really want to achieve your goals, there's something else that you've got to do. There's something, another component that you have to bear in mind with in order to be successful. Now, we all know that your thoughts create your reality. We all know that, right? Don't we? We also know that what you think, that becomes your reality. Because we also know the scripture that says, whatever a man or whatever a mind thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, many people want to make lots of money on the internet. Many people want to make lots of money elsewhere in sales, in marketing, etc., etc. But there is one important component that, that, for, that everybody seems to forget, or most people seem to forget, and that is the condition you are in. That is the condition of your mind. Now, you have to put your mind in a certain condition. That means you've got to see the results first. You have to see the results of what you need or desire in your head first. Faith comes by hearing. You've got to hear that result and see the result. Because if you do not see the result clearly in your head, you don't have the juices to take massive action. People just jump into massive action and wonder they get such meager results. Now, I want to tell you something that happened to me a couple of years ago. You know, I decided to run the marathon. Uh, yeah, that's about 26 miles, 42 kilometers. And I decided also to run this marathon without any training. I decided to do the training in my mind uh, only. To prove to myself and to my students that it is possible to get things done when you've settled that in your mind, in your head, in your spirit. And so for a couple of weeks, I decided to run the, the route, the marathon route, only in my head. And I was running only in my head. I would lie on the couch. Yes, that's what I did. And I ran the whole marathon in my head day after day for about 21 days. Could have been less, could have been more. I, don't, I just don't care, but I did it. The day of the marathon, I was ready for action. I was ready for action. People said, listen, you are running the marathon and you haven't, you haven't trained? I said, yes, I did. I trained in my mind. Well, folks, you know what happened? <laughs> that was, the most, was one of the most painful processes I have ever experienced. But I ran the marathon and I finished the marathon in five and a half hours. <laughs> you know what happened? <laughs> I was so proud. I thought to myself, yeah, I did it. I did this marathon without training, but I trained in my head. And that's all I, I say it takes for you to get it. You must get the picture in your head, the results in your head. Absolutely. You know, Muhammad Ali was asked once, who do you think is the greatest boxer of all time? You know, and he was 19 at the time. He said, I am the greatest. He didn't say, I will be the greatest. He said, I am. He spoke in the present tense. So if you want to have a million dollars right now, then say, I am a million dollars. If you want to be rich, say, I am rich. You got to start it will start with that process in your mind right now. And then you take the mass of action because you know that you have settled this in your mind. You have settled it with absolute certainty that you are going to succeed. Now, so many people are looking for so many excuses why they can succeed. They say it's because of destiny. They say it's because of their genes. They say it's because of this or that or the other. It's only in your mind. You have to program your mind for success. And one way to do that is to absolutely have that picture as clear as possible in your mind. It doesn't matter what it, what it is, whether it is a new car, a Ferrari, a Porsche, or a Mercedes Benz, it doesn't matter. You've got to have that picture right in your mind. If you want a new house, have the picture of the house in your head. Paint that picture absolutely clearly. You must see it as if you have it already. 
You know, there was a woman, I will never forget this woman, there was a woman in South Africa, in Nurkosuk, and she wanted a bus because she was a pastor. She wanted to have a bus to take all her congregation around. And she said to the congregation, listen, the Lord's going to give us a bus. Let's go outside. Let's sit down and let's make as if we are in this bus. Everybody thought she was crazy, but she sat down and she said, we are driving this bus now. Come on, by faith we are driving this bus. She was in there. A month later she got that bus. And I'm telling you now, it is absolutely possible to achieve anything in life. Every one of us has the potential to achieve anything, to have a marvelous life. You have to picture the thing in your head and picture that with a lot of feeling. The more emotions you put in that pictures, the more the likely that will materialize in the flesh so therefore get that picture whatever it is whether it's for an internet marketing company it doesn't matter what it is get the picture in your head that you are going to succeed have the picture as clear as possible every day you just hold on to this picture and then it gives you the juices of motivation the drive to then go and take massive action because do not take massive action before that. Take the massive action after you have that picture clear, as clear as daylight in your head. So go now, go out into the old world and be successful. I said, be successful. Be prosperous. Be happy. Thank you so much. I'll be talking to you again. Thanks a lot.